Mind Rescue Kit, Part 1. Control your state first. Why state first? State of mind is really important. It determines what you focus on, what memories you have available, what skills you can access, and even how you look and sound to others. Bad states like anger, fear, hate, envy, disappointment, and depression are all related to the action of your stress response. The stress response is great for situations where you immediately need to fight or run away. It does that so well because it temporarily shuts down a whole load of processes in your body and mind and provides that energy to your muscles. For that reason, it's a terrible response for just about anything else. It shuts down your digestion, your immune system, and the parts of your brain that do higher reasoning. That makes it hard to think clearly or make good decisions. It's not just that fighting or running away are poor responses to a stressful job interview, for example. If you're in a bad state, your reasoning is seriously impaired. Ever had too many drinks and do something stupid you regretted later? That's what happens when your reasoning is impaired. End of story. State affects everything else, so you need to deal with it first. Why? Some solutions. I'm not about to tell you to just suck it up or pull yourself together. That'd be really unhelpful because if you already had a way to do that, you'd be doing it. Those who have mastered their state have mastered a process that gets them into a better state. Since we're all individuals, I'm not sure which technique will work best for you, so I'm giving you four that will do the job. Some will work better than others. Here we go. One, change your physiology, emergency version. Three simple steps you can do straight away. Explore. One, stop what you're doing and stand up. Your physiology is linked to your emotional state, so begin by changing it. Two, now go to a window and look up at the sky. If it's daytime, sunlight will begin to lift your mood. If it's night, the physiology of looking upward will start to reduce the feeling component of your ongoing experience. And if you haven't got any windows, that's 95% of your problem right there. Three, then take some time to notice how blue the sky is. If the sky is cloudy or if it's night, just remember that the sky is blue somewhere and think of it. Blue skies tend to have a positive feeling associated with them for most people. Yes, it's simple. And as a result, you might be tempted to ignore or dismiss this as an effective course of action. It is, however, a course of action. You can just do it, and it'll make a positive difference. Will it make you endlessly blissful and carefree? No. Will it help you enough to lift your mood? Definitely. Two, change your physiology longer term. When I talk about your physiology, I'm referring to your posture, breathing, and movement. Sit all slumped over like a depressed person does, and you'll soon feel depressed. Sit or stand like a confident person does, and you'll soon feel more positive. Explore. Over the next few days, look around you and notice how people stand, sit, and move when they're happy. Notice how their physiology is different when they're feeling bad. Be more aware of yourself too. Notice which body posture and movements are associated with positive and negative states for you. Notice how you stand when you feel confident, happy, Excited, relaxed, frustrated, miserable, furious, ecstatic, calm, curious, and so on. Be aware of the speed and rhythm of any movements too. Some of this will be quite individual and some will apply to everyone. If you ever want to be in a more resourceful state, start by changing your physiology, movement and speed to match what you do when you're feeling good. 3. Remember better times. I'm betting you felt good at some point in your life, yes? Maybe not lately, but in the past somewhere? Good. This technique helps you to access and build on those memories because when you recall a pleasant memory, you feel good. Explore. There are times in your life when you felt calm, yes? Thinking about that, there are some times when you felt more calm than others. 
As you think about those situations, I want you to choose a really good one. Take some time to really get into it and remember it fully. What did you see? What were you talking about and how did it feel? Take your time with this technique. Try it out for calm, happiness, excitement, mischief and fun. If you're really far from calm, change your physiology a bit first, then do the technique. Four, step into a role model. Suppose there's a state you don't experience very often or can't recall an example of in your past. What then? You need to borrow the state from someone else. Sound a bit crazy? Give it a go anyway before you decide. This particular technique is great for applying to situations where you're not normally resourceful, but know someone who is exactly how you'd like to be. It also allows you to program in a resourceful state so it occurs naturally when that type of situation comes up again. Explore. First, pick a situation you'd like to work on. Next, you need to choose someone as your role model. Go somewhere you'll not be interrupted for a short while. Stand with a clear space in front of you. With eyes open or closed, whatever works best for you. Imagine your role model in front of you. In a moment, you're going to step inside them to experience what it's like to be them on the inside. Physically, take a step forward into the space where you imagine them to be, allowing yourself to see through their eyes, hear what they'd hear, and feel how they feel inside when they're in the situation you chose. Take some time to just absorb this new experience. How are you standing now? What are you saying to yourself on the inside? How do you feel? When you're ready, step back out again taking this new experience with you. Let it all settle in. Now rehearse the situation in your mind, this time as yourself, but adding in all the elements you've learned from being your role model. Part one, summary. State is really important. Everything else is built upon it. States related to stress can seriously impair your judgment and even, in the long term, affect your health. You now have four ways of getting into a better state of mind. Test them all before you move on to the next part.